How is he? Uh, he still won't sleep with the door shut, but uh, he's getting better. Here we are. Being an invited guest does have some benefits. What time are they locking us in? Eight o'clock. Cheers. It's a slow process. Yeah, you're telling me. Meanwhile, I'm still stuck at home. <laughs> I'm not paying that much for that. And he said, well, that's what it costs. So I said, that's as maybe. I'm still not paying 15 bloody quid for cleaning a watch. That's far more than it cost when it was new. That's not my problem, he says. Either you pay it, or I keep the watch. Him? Oh, yeah, he's fine. Playing with his toys again. <laughs> to drink. That's because they've been told not to. Oh, Rachel, please. For heaven's sake, Gerald, when will you ever learn this isn't something I can turn on and off like a tap? Oh, Jack, fuck it off! Not now, please. Scotch. Sorry, the bar's closed. The orchestra hasn't even started yet. No, come on, don't be so bloody silly. I want to drink now. Bloody hell. You heard what the lady said. You know who I am. Yes, the barmaid's nightmare. I would like two glasses of champagne and an orange juice for the interval, please. Thank you. What's the matter, Dora? You know what the matter is. You're the matter. Sitting at that bloody table night after night, playing with your toy cars. Well, they're not toy cars. They're 43rd scale replicas. You're a 43rd scale replica of a man. Why don't you go out? You know I can't go. You know I'm poorly. Poorly? You're a weed, a wimp. Why don't you go out? Why don't you go to the pub? Go watch a rugby match. Do something other men do for a change.
out. You've broken it. You've broken it. I bloody break it, and you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm.